Hello fellow Pokemon trainers, my name is Video James, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to use Octillery. Now, Octillery was requested by a good friend of mine, and it actually is one of my favorite Pokemon, because of the fact that not only is it one of the classic Pokemon, that it was actually from Gen 2, so it is one of the more, um, I would say original Pokemon in terms of its design and timing, but also the fact that Octillery is just a bit on the weird side. If you're sitting there saying, James, why would Octillery be weird? It's actually a really understandable Pokemon. I'm going to stow that argument away for later, because trust me, we're going to be needing it. So we see Octillery is actually a pure water typing. Again, it makes sense that it would be a pure water typing, because it's an octopus. Now with this typing, we are going to be getting the weaknesses to grass and electric, but we are also going to be getting the resistances to fire, water, ice, and steel. Now with its understandable design and typing actually comes an understandable ability, Suction Cups. Now what Suction Cups basically does is it negates moves and items that would force Octillery to switch out. So stuff like Whirlwind from a Skarmory or a red card on a Sturdy Shuckle. Octillery is not going to be affected by that due to the Suction Cups ability. Commonly used ability, Sniper. Now Sniper is one thing that we see a lot, especially on Kingdra. But basically what Sniper does is it powers critical hit moves up to 225% rather than 150%, meaning they're basically becoming one-hit KO moves if they're even normally effective on you. And then, much like Glalie, Octillery has the hidden ability of Mui, which basically raises one stat by two stages, but will lower another one by one stage. Now, one of the most inconvenient times of Moody is when it'll raise one stage by two and lower another one by one, but then the next turn it'll raise the same stat that it lowered and lower the same stat that it raised last turn. And I gotta say, honestly, I do like that Octillery Shiny is gold. So looking at the base stat total, we see it's actually a base 480 that we got 75 in the HP, Defense, and Special Defense, 105 in the Attack and Special Attack, and 45 in the Speed. So we can tell right away, Octillery got some decent power behind it, that its tentacles are going to pack quite a punch. But we see that it's going to be quite slow, and it doesn't have that much bulk. But with 75 HP, it actually does have a decent amount of HP bulk. Hopping on over into Showdown, we see the first set is actually a Choice Spec Sniper set. So we got the maxed out HP and Special Attack with the Modest Nature and the 4 EVs thrown into the defense. And we also have Scald, Ice Beam, Fire Blast, and Energy Ball with the Choice Specs and the Sniper ability. Remember when I said Octillery was going to be a weird Pokemon? Yeah, let's bring that argument back up. Let me repeat the moveset that I just said. Scald, Ice Beam, Fire Blast, and Energy Ball. I'm pretty sure a lot of you can see why it's weird now. If you think Fire Blast is the only Fire-type move Octillery gets, oh no, it actually gets three Fire-type moves, including and not limited to, Flamethrower. Why would an octopus be able to harness fire? It is an octopus. It is also a pure water type. I could understand if it was Volcanian and it had the half fire typing, or if it was at least ground typing, because then it might make sense for it having a fire-type move like Eruption. But Octillery is purely water. So where does the sense come from it getting Fire Blast? Regardless, with this set, we actually have Scald there for the pure water-type stab, plus the chance to actually get the burn, meaning our defense could actually be getting a little bit of saving. And then we have Ice Beam just as our Ice-type move, that basically, a lot of water types are going to run an Ice-type move, and it's typically going to be Ice Beam. But it works out great for taking out stuff like a Landorus and Shaman, that a Landorus and a Shaman are not going to live in Ice Beam from an Octillery with a Choice Specs. Especially not if it's a crit hit. On top of that, a Gliscorb wouldn't really live in Ice Beam from an Octillery either, but then again, Gliscorb's got almost no special bulk. And then we have Fire Blast there to take out Steel and Ice types and Grass types, that we don't really have a good move to take out Steel types because we're a Water type and most Water types actually lack the potential to take down a steel type but with fire blast we're actually taking out not only steel types but our weakness grass types and we're also able to take out ice types which again we don't really have a good counter for and then we have energy ball just to take out other water types that basically people are gonna try and swap in a water type to artillery to try and get use 
of stuff like wish cast that wish cast take a water attack not really going to hurt much from it or of a porion takes a water absorb and gets heal from the scald but with energy ball we're going to be hitting them with their weakness it also run this set as an assault vest which i personally like a lot more just because it gives you that freedom and it gives you a bit more bulk that with 186 being our special defense Assault Vest is going to bring that up in the 270s, so we're not really going to have too bad in Special Defense, meaning we could take at least two hits from a Super Effective, but with Octillery having the good Special Attack, the stuff's going to have to outspeed us and be Super Effective in order to not kill us. Or in order to kill us, not to not kill us. And I just realized the double negative. As I said before, Octillery does only have 45 speed, so it's good to partner it with something that can use Trick Room, like Meowstic. That Meowstic gets access to Prankster, and it has a plethora of special moves that could actually benefit Octillery, that we've got Toxic. We could wear down something that doesn't really want to be a one-shot, and we could just wait for it to get low enough in health to where Octillery can one-shot. Then we have, again, Trick Room. Trick Room, really good move for Octillery, seeing as how it raises the speed, or raises the speed. It technically makes every slower Pokemon the fastest, so I guess it kind of reverses the speeds. And then we have Reflect and Light Screen, that Reflect and Light Screen actually giving us a good, decent bit of bulk when we come to the sort of defensive aspects. That if we're using something that can set these up, we could go with stuff like Klefki. That Klefki gets access to a lot of these moves, and it can use them very well. So we go Reflect and Light Screen on a Klefki, get those set up, and it has maybe something like Light Clay. And then we set up a Trick Room, and we swap out in an Octillery, and then Octillery now has that screen protection and it also has the higher speed and then we have a sweeper artillery set with the life orb so we see once again we got the sniper ability with the max out hp and special attack with the modest nature and we have protect scald ice beam and energy ball now this set is more of an okay i'm gonna play smart not sweepy so basically with this set we've got protect there to survive anything that we want to protect against like, say, we wanted to bait out something that could possibly have a move to take us out, or if we wanted to strike a Choice Scarfer down, then we could go for Protect and probably swap into something that the Choice Scarfer wouldn't really appreciate, or if we anticipate their swap out, hit them with something that's going to not really be appreciated. And then we have Scald, again, pure water type, going to be getting a stab, plus with Life Orb, going to be doing a good amount of damage, and the chance to burn, kind of too good to pass up. Then we have Ice Beam, again, Ice Beam, you're going to see it on a lot of water types, and it has a lot of good use, especially for killing that son of a dog Landorus. And then we have Energy Ball, again, just for dealing with water types and water ground types. And... And then we get in the more what I like to call finicky artillery set. So we've got artillery with suction cups. We've got substitute rest thunder wave and octazooka with the maxed out HP and special defense with the calm nature. I almost said careful. But with this set, we're basically being a stally shut you down kind of set. So we got substitute there to give us that kind of free wall. That substitute gonna be giving us at least two free turns of safety, if not one. Then we have rest there for that heal recovery that with leftovers. We're going to be healing a good amount of our HP, but not as much as we need to. So Rest is going to be giving us that chance to actually give back all of our health and get rid of any status as well. And then we have Thunder Wave there just because Thunder Wave, one of the best shutdown moves ever and Octillery gets access to it, so a heck yes. And then we have Octillery's signature move, Octazooka. Now this move is odd in the fact that it's not really the strongest but it has a weird effect. So basically Octazooka is a 65 base power with an 85% accuracy, but it has a 50% chance to reduce the target's accuracy by 1. Now, you can see why I would put that on a shutdown artillery set, because accuracy is important, and you're going to want to see something that can't really lower the accuracy. But with a shutdown set like this, you're basically not only preventing them from moving half the time 
and the rest of the time just making them extremely slow, but you're also shutting down their accuracy to the point where, okay, you're not really going to land that many hits even if you do manage to move. Now, I really like this set just because it makes use of the fact that Octillery is actually an octopus, that it kind of makes sense of the fact that octopi actually keep stuff from moving when they try and eat it, that they kind of wrap around it and keep it trapped in a s small space, so it makes sense that Octillery would have this kind of power. Now, if you want to talk about trapping moves, Octillery does get access to Whirlpool, but I couldn't really think of a good way to use that. I mean, you could use it on this set, or you could use it on a Toxic set, but I couldn't really find a good way to use Toxic with Octillery. And then the final set we see we have is a Leftover set again. So we have the Rest Sleep Talk with Toxic and Scald, we have the leftovers with suction cup, and we have the same stuff again. We have the maxed out HP and special defense with the calm nature. So basically this one, we're a rest sleep talker set. That we're healing ourselves up, and we're wearing our opponent down. That with toxic, does a lot of damage after a couple turns, and slowly wears the opponent down. So if they don't have heal recovery, then they're not going to be taking that many turns with a toxic damage. And with Scald, we're actually going to be getting that pure water type plus the burn. So again, Scald, not a move you want to look over. Now, Octillery, you can use it physically, but it's physical move pool. To name a few of its moves, Bullet Seed, Seed Bomb, Gunk Shot, Waterfall, it's just, it's got a plethora of weird moves on it. Especially for an Octopus. Regardless, that is going to be how to use Octillery, and I actually do really like it, so thank you for suggesting it, you know who you are. Um, again, next week will be Wobbuffet, because I actually did promise to do a Wobbuffet as well as Octillery, but before both of these, will come a Dragology set. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any Pokemon you want to see me do videos on in the future, let me know down in the comments, and if you did like this video, you can slap the like button as always, and I will see all you beautiful people in the next video.